So to probably no one's surprise, Russia is invading the Ukraine as we speak. Um, again, we should have all seen this coming. And I just want to give my two cents on this. And look, I, I, all I want is for people out there to be educated on this, to research it. Don't listen to every word as me as gospel or anyone else. Dude, do some research on your own. Because the one thing that I can't stand right now is this is becoming a stupid-ass political party issue. Trump is in agreement with Putin on this. Therefore, I am in agreement with this. Oh, but Biden is against this. Therefore, I'm Democrat. I must be uh, for Biden on this. So, you know what? Just I, I, enough of that stupid-ass shit. Do your own research. Come to your own conclusions. Stop voting with what the goddamn trend is in your political party, you stupid-ass Anyway, um, that being said, I am a student of history and more specifically a student of World War II. And there's something that I feel is, is, is really getting lost in the shuffle of all this. Something that is really much more sad than the fact that this is actually happening. It's more of who this is happening to and who it is happening from. Now... I knew going into this, into this whole incursion, invasion, whatever you want to call it, from Russia into Ukraine, I knew that in World War II, there was a significant amount of soldiers in the Red Army that were Ukrainian. I didn't know the number off the top of my head. I thought it was maybe like one or two million at the most. But I looked it up, and it happens to be 4.5 million soldiers from the Ukraine fought with the Red Army to kick Nazi Germany back to Berlin and then take Berlin over. Now, I would like someone out there to find a historian that says the Russians succeed in not only getting to Berlin, but getting their country taken over completely by Hitler and Nazi Germany if there isn't an additional 4.5 million troops thrown into the mix. Because people need to remember that, yes, Stalin and the Red Army was ultimately the first to push Nazi, the Nazis back into Berlin and get to Berlin first. But here's the thing. Russia was losing, excuse me, Russia was winning battles against the Nazis in Russia when they were losing like four, five, six soldiers for every one Nazi soldier. It was just that Russia held strong, had enough forces, and they held on long enough to keep the Nazis out of Moscow. And it was close. It was very close in World War II that Hitler didn't get his ass into Moscow. But the Russians held strong enough, held on long enough, and got enough guys because Stalin, much like Gary Oldman, the professional, said, send everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! Like he sent everyone that was able to go out there on two feet and hold a gun and push some Nazi ass back to Germany on the forefront and got him out there. In fact, Stalin even enacted laws where if you even took one step back, you were, um, you were, your, your superior officer was ordered to execute you because he, Stalin didn't want any ounce of land given back to the Nazis if they took the fight to them. So, 4.5 million Ukrainians fought with the Red Army in World War II and, and basically are the reason why Moscow isn't called Deutschland West. East. Got my directions mixed up. <laughs> Anyways. And now they're being invaded because... They just want to be part of NATO. They want to be a sovereign nation that makes their, makes their own cause, that makes their own guidance into the future. Now, people, I, a lot of people, I think, really don't understand why Russia is doing this. And, 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 and screw that security bullshit that you're hearing out there. But again, educate yourself on it. Don't listen to my dumbass, you know, because if you disagree with it, you just call me a dumbass anyway. <clears throat> but here's the thing. If, the Ukraine joins NATO and becomes a thriving success and gets the benefit of being a NATO nation, Russia will collapse. Russia will collapse because their people would see like, my God, this is the closest thing to Russia outside of Russia. And it is, Ukraine is 
the closest thing to Russia outside of Russia, and they join NATO and they become a thriving, successful nation, much like you saw Poland after World War II, much like you saw the former Czechoslovakia uh, be, uh, excuse me, after the Cold War, after, after, after communism fell in Russia. Much like you saw, I mean, look at, look at what East Berlin looks like today compared to what it looked like before. I mean, that's all you need to know. I've been there myself in person. I've seen it. It looks a lot better than what it was under communist control. Anyways. I know anti-capitalists, anti-Americans will be just, you know, bringing up whatever propaganda they can, any other slant they can on this. But it, it, it's, it's just a shame that this country, that is the reason why Russia is even a country at all to this point, and I know people are going to be like, well, you know, even if even if Hitler got into Moscow and seized Russia, uh, the Americans and the British and whatever are still coming in from the from the West. They're going to take. But but here's the thing: getting Russia changes the the entire entire outlook of the war because there then isn't an Eastern Front pushing in on Germany and. Going into Russia through going through Germany and Poland and everything else along the way. And and what are you going to attack Russia from the east? you got to worry about Japan there. Japan was one thing with, with after Germany fell. You could put a concerted effort just on Japan. But man, Hitler would have seized Russia, turned their workers into slave labor, and made that German war machine that much bigger. So yes... You, the Ukraine and the Ukrainian soldiers that fought in World War II are, there, are the reason why there is a Russia today. Fine, someone find me a historian that would disagree with that. 4.5 million soldiers from Ukraine fought for the Red Army in World War II. That is a difference maker. And they, I'm sorry, they wouldn't have been able to hold on to Moscow if it wasn't for that added effort from the Ukrainian soldiers. It just They wouldn't. Because they barely hung on to it with, with those 4.5 million. So anyways, thanks for, thanks for wanting to be a sovereign state, Ukraine. Now, we're going to take you over. We're going to take your government over. We're going to tell you how to live your life. Guess what time it is? It's pre the Berlin Wall falling down. It's pre-communism ending down. Welcome back into USSR kingdom. Like that's the that's the better that's the better solution here, people. Like that's the better outcome. Just because Trump agrees with it, that's the better outcome. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This nation that just around 80 years ago preserved preserve the existence of Russia itself is being bombed. It's just being completely taken over. And yeah, I know this, this isn't exactly nothing new. There's been incursions into parts of Ukraine before. This isn't nothing new. But this is just an all-out takeover because they just want to do their own thing. That was their that was their big crime. They just want to do their own thing. Oh, but they're a big security threat to Russia. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they were just they were just itching to pick a fight with Russia. I feel I feel so sorry for the Ukraine right now because they're going to get decimated. They're going to get decimated. I mean, let's, let's, let's just be real here. And honestly, do I think there's going to be any sort of American incursion other than supplying arms? No, no. Um, but if, if you, if you look at most of the armaments, most of the tanks and everything, they're, they're all Soviet era stuff. They're all out of date, antiquated, inferior, whatever word you want to use. A lot of people are just people that are just able-bodied people picking up arms. They aren't trained military like the like the like the Russian army is. The Russian Russian army ha has so much more swift and decisive capabilities at their disposal. And one last thing that I want to bring up that I don't think a, a lot of people are talking about is that <clears throat> are we so sure Ukraine doesn't have any nuclear weapons? 
Like, are we so sure? Like, yeah, I, I, I know they they signed that treaty, which, by the way, was to <laughs> to give the weapons back to to Russia, and and they basically signed a treaty saying that you know you won't invade us, you're going to protect our rights to exist. Well, that <laughs> that that treaty didn't really was worth the ink it was printed on, paper it was printed on. Anyway, um, they think it too, I guess. Um, are we sure that the Ukraine didn't just say, you know what? It just in case, we'll, we'll, we'll tell Russia, I don't know, these, these couple bombs, they're just, we couldn't find them anyway. We looked in all the warehouses. I don't know. Here's all, here's all we found, though. You can have it back. Now, here, we'll sign the treaty. Are we sure that the Ukraine, at the, after the fall of communism, gave back every single nuclear weapon? Are we sure about that? Because, man, I'm not so sure I'd want to take that chance in finding out if you had to push them to the point that they had no other chance but to throw that one last Hail Mary at you. Just something to think about. And honestly, if there is any sort of American incursion, any sort of anything, I do I do expect Russia to do something like some sort of uh, cyber attack or something. And people are going to realize like, oh my God, and on my internet, oh my God, I can't do my banking. And then Russian... I mean, excuse me, American outlook on all this is going to be like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I couldn't, I couldn't text my friend for like two days in a row. This just ain't worth it. I can't care about Ukraine if I can't text my friend. I couldn't get on YouTube to see some guy upload a video talking about the Ukraine, Ukraine getting incurred upon by, by Russia. So anyways, um, I don't see America being able to do anything about this. Uh, unless atomic bombs start flying, but then again, if it, if it gets to that point, <laughs> holy shit, I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, you listen to me talk, look up for yourself and find your own answers and just, just, just try and understand and feel at the end of the, everything here, feel for the Ukrainian people. Because they are the only ones truly suffering in all of this. They're the ones dying right now. They're the ones that did nothing wrong other than wanting to be a sovereign, a sovereign state. They weren't trying to pick a fight with Russia. Why would they want to pick a fight with Russia? Why? Why would they? They stood fast and, and stood for the motherland against World War II to get Hitler out of their backyard. If anything... They love Russia more than anyone else, aside from Belarus, just letting them get a Western front into Ukraine. But anyway, uh, it, it's just, it's, it's a shit situation. Shit, a big shit sandwich situation. And this could all turn right now if just the Russian people alone spoke up against this. And honestly, the only thing that may change that is if Russian soldiers keep coming back in body bags. I mean, I mean, let's be real. The Russian public is the ones that can control all of this. They stood up against communism. They can stand up against this. It's honestly, it, it's, it's in the Russian people's hands more than anyone else. And I know it's tough. I know the government is controlling the media and, and all that shit, but man, deep down inside, they got they they got to know what's really going on because they knew what was really going on during the communist era because they got enough intel and insight together to stand up and break down the walls of communism. They can do it again. Putin, every death in the Ukraine is on you, but the tide to change all this is on the Russian public as well. Yes, I know America is the quote-unquote policeman of the world. But man, this can be done so non-violently just by the Russian people. My two cents on it. That is all.